Good morning, it's Alex Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. Today we're going to talk about similar shapes and scale drawings. As we learned in the past in the previous video, today we're going to, I'm going to show you a little, something a little different for you to come out with the, with the scale factors or the new measures or the measures on the blueprints, things like that, by creating a table. So if we look over here, we have a, a, a word problem. An example says a ruminant is shown in a blueprint. The scale is five inches to eight feet. This quotation marks, that means inches, and one thing right here means feet. That's for you to get used to them, okay? A wall in the blueprint is 30 inches, complete the tape. We know that for every five feet, I mean five inches, is gonna be eight feet. So we have a table created for us right here. So for five, blueprint, BP, that's blueprint length, five inches, actual length is what? Eight. Eight is given to us, right? For five inches is eight. So if I have 16 on the actual, how many inches is that gonna be? 10, Ten right? So you gotta use, go with the flow. So right here, all you have to do is multiply times two, so you will multiply times two. If it is 24 inches, what is this right here? 15. Right? So for every five, so how many sets of five do you have in here? Three times eight. Three times eight? 24. So how many sets of five do you have on 20? Four times eight? Four times eight is 32. 32. Now, right here we have 40, so you gotta divide it by, by what? Eight. By eight, the scale factor, 40 divided by eight is? Five. Five. 25. Whoa, sorry. And then 48 right here is gonna be? How many sets? 30. How many sets of eight is 48? Six. 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 Times five? 30. 30. See what happened? Yeah. Easy, right? Easy. By doing it with the table. Easy. Now, it says, what is the actual wall length? So it says the wall length is 30 inches. So what is the actual wall length? 48. 30 inches, so the wall length is gonna be 48 what? 48 what? One. Feet. Oh. Feet. That's the symbol for feet. Okay, now. Again, you just gotta divide by the sets of eights that you have. Divide 16 by eight and multiply times five. Divide 24 by eight, multiply times five to get the top. And to get the bottom, multiply, divide 20 by five and multiply times eight. Yes, sir. That's all you have to do. Now, a door in the room is four inches wide. I mean, four feet wide. The actual door is four feet wide. What is the width in the blueprint? What is the width on the blueprint? So we have five to eight, correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 23, 23. Five to eight, and we have four feet. This is inches, this is feet. You can set up your proportions, right? So the feet go where, top or bottom? Top. Oh, bottom. bottom. Bottom, so this is four. And this is x, and you do cross products and find the value of x. So you're gonna have 8x equals to 20, and the last step is to do what? Divide. Divide by? Eight. When you divide by eight on both sides, the answer is gonna be 2.5 inches. And it kind of makes sense. If you have eight and the actual and the blueprint length is five, half those, because four is half of eight, so half of five is 2.5. Again, you set up your proportions and put the inches on top, uh, feet on the bottom, make sure you're consistent. We've been doing ratios for a while now. Now, another thing that you're gonna come up with is drawings. So you have a rectangle. It's a 10 inches long by four inches wide. 
and they're telling you that the scale factor is two inches equals four feet. So you're gonna multiply this, divide this by two, and then multiply by four, correct? To get the new width. So the new rectangle is gonna be, it has to be bigger. And we can come up with every single drawing by setting up the scale factor two to four. That's my scale factor, correct? Yeah. Two inches to four feet equals, and if I want to look x, which is corresponding to 10, all I have to put in is 10 right here and x right there. That's going to give me that. Because uh, this is going to give you the right answer every time. You do cross products, so you're going to have 2x equals 240. And when you divide by 2, x equals 2. 40 divided by 2 is? 20. 20. Right here. Are you going to make sense? Divide 10 by 2. How much, how, what do you get? 5, Five times 4? 20. 20. Is this 20? Yes. I mean, you can probably do it on your head, but if you can't, this is how you do it. Now, to find the width, which is going to be the 4, and I'm, put up, I'm going to put it on this side because I don't have space right there, you can set up your proportion as well. So you're going to have 2 to 4 equals to what? What is given to me? The inches or the feet? Inches, so I just put in the four right here on top and x on the bottom. So you're going to have two x equals to 16. And you, when you divide by two, what do you get? Eight. So my width is eight. And these are feet. So it asks you, what is the, new, the actual length? What is the actual length? We found it. It's 20. 20 feet, right? What is my new width? Eight. Eight feet. Now, they're asking for the area, correct? How do you find the area of a rectangle? You multiply. You multiply everything. Multiply what? Multiply What's the formula for area of a rectangle? Length Eight. times width. Length Eight. times width. Yeah. Or base times height, right? So length is 20 times Eight. 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 What do you get? 160. 160. So the area is 160 feet square. So again, set up your proportions. Uh, however, for every side, you're going to have to set up a proportion with the ratio. Unless you can do it in your head. Any questions so far? No, sir. Anybody? No, sir. Good. Bye, guys.